Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild happening in NFT land. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way in today, the death of Azuki. So you guys probably saw this happening Monday, um, yesterday for me, a couple days probably for you. And, you know, I wanted to talk about this because I'm like, I think people are blowing this away out of proportion and they just need to fucking chill axe. So that's soon. If you don't know the, uh, pseudonymous, yeah, so the anonymous uh, founder of the popular Azuki non-fungible token project revealed his fraught history with abandoning projects Monday night, sending the NFT Twitter uh, space into a frenzy and the collection floor price dropping. So essentially what happened is the uh, Zagabon, who is the Twitter handle of the creator, essentially said that he was part of a few other projects. Um, they are mentioned here. They're crypto uh, funks, um, tendies, and crypto zonks, all of which were abandoned by their original founding team, and he was a part of that. And so basically saying that, you know, he had, he, he those projects had to be abandoned, had to fail for him to essentially get where he is in the current um, iteration of the Azuki space, or that's not the way I would say that, where he is currently with the Azuki project due to the fact of the experience he he acquired through there. And, you know, some people I'll tweet it back that the Azuki founder just basically admit to found to founding and abandoning three projects within a year. <clears throat> so this caused the price of the project to drop, which, you know, it, it has since risen up. I'm not sure what it's at now. At the time that I was reading this article, it went from 19 down to 10.9 up back up to a 12 and what people need to understand is that this is kind of how life works um you know it's surprisingly enough people don't just enter into a space and are all instantly super smart genius know how to do everything without failure especially in a space that is literally like what two years old at this point so like even think we'll, we'll put it in a term that everybody can understand think of every relationship you've ever been in ever and think of how many times, and think how when you get married, you know, ideally you want to do it once, right? So if you get married once, every relationship you had before that is a failure in itself because it didn't amount to anything, right? But in reality, what it is, is that you're learning. You're learning who you are as a person. You're learning what you want from a partner in return, what you uh, what kind of person you need to be, how much better you need to be if you want to be in a relationship, et cetera, et cetera. That's exactly how the rest of every fucking piece of life works. You, you don't, you know, you mean you go through and you're going to fail. It just seems, you know, weird for everybody because it's like, well, he abandoned these three projects. He did not see the merit in them anymore. There was no reason to continue with them. But each failure, like he said, taught him lessons that he carried on to make the Izuki uh, collection, which is doing fantastic, despite even what just happened right now with his announcement or his tweet or whatever you want to call it. So I think people need to relax and stop blowing this out of proportion because this is exactly how you want things to go. Unfortunately, most of us in this space are just t crash test dummies where where the guinea pigs of the NFT community, myself included, where we're buying these things. We don't know what the fuck's going to happen. This is why I bitch so much about like young creators in this space. I don't know how young this guy is particularly, but like this is why I always like when I see these like 20 year olds, you know, what I mean, not even out of school yet or fresh out of school. And they are talking about how great the project is and all the plans and all the business opportunities they have in store. But you have never opened a business in your life. Most businesses fail. Most people who are super successful eventually have failed multiple times in their life. There's a quote from Michael Jordan about like, you know, what did he say? Fuck, what's that quote? Something about being able to take 3000 baskets or like he he, you know, he didn't, he doesn't have 3000 ways to make a, a shot. He, he found 3000 ways, um, to not miss or something like that. It's basically, basically I'm butchering the quote entirely. Essentially, you know what I mean? He, he had to practice, practice, practice and fail multiple times before he became as good as he is. And that's just part of the entire process. So people don't seem to, to, to realize that that's part of the process, but it is. And you know, this should not have dropped the price. This just continues to show me the lack of maturity within the space for people not to understand that this is how it works. Yes, I understand how it looks that like he abandoned three other projects um, all within a year. 
but he you know that was to create a project that is a you know like he said we're in it for the long term you know a project he does have more faith in or not even more faith in but has you know a, a better understanding about where he's trying to get to with this particular project it sucks that some people were the experiments of the other three projects but that's life you're always the experiment of something right when i get a little bit a little morbid on it um whenever you have a recall for a car you know you know someone had to die in order for the fucking manufacturers to realize that that recall needed to be done right so someone was sacrificed someone was the guinea pig for that particular thing um anyways guys that's kind of it that's all i wanted to say i just saw this uh, and i was like man i gotta i gotta talk about this because i feel like it just reflects more and more how immature the space really is when you know you you see people react their gut reaction is anger and frustration but it's like are you thinking are you taking a second to realize i'm like no wait of course yes you know what I mean? He had to do this. I know it It puts fear in you that he might abandon this project too, but the success of this would, you know, hardly warrant a complete abandonment of this project at this point. And it's not going to happen. It, and, you know, he didn't need to say anything, but he was trying to be transparent to people to understand that, like, hey, this was a learning process and we got to this point. And in order to get to this point, sacrifices needed to be made on three other projects I had done. Like I said, this is what most people do. Most people fail at everything that they do or start doing right away. They it's it's those that keep with it, that learn through it and continue to push that get the success that you know what I mean, you're you're trying to accomplish. So don't think that this is a bad thing. To me, I'm like this is a man who is or a woman or whatever who is being transparent. You know, a person who is being upfront about, hey, these are the issues that I was having in the past and we were able to learn from that and create something way better, way cooler for people. And we really want to see it grow. Um, you know, what I mean, and it's moments like that where it's like maybe you should not have said anything at all. Um, but I think it's good that he did. And I think it just shows the weakness of the people who are involved in the space. And they just, you know, what I mean, they just can't handle it. It's it's uh, you. You believed in the project so, so wholeheartedly. And, you know. He's talking about how he believes in the project, but, you know, you don't realize that business is not businesses. You know, people who are who are really who have some people are born with great business acumen. Most people have to acquire it. You know, what I mean, aside aside from the celebrity the, uh, makers, you know, money makers or celebrities who have tons of money, most of the people who have like tons of money are probably are businessmen. You know, those who have probably gone to school or who've built a business. And if you talk to those people, they've probably failed and built multiple businesses over time, failed it, started from scratch over and over and over and over again before finally kind of figuring out the formula that worked not only for them, but also for the product or product that they're trying to push. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this whole Izuki death of Izuki fiasco. Again, I think people are blowing it way out of proportion. I don't think it's to be taken um, to this length. I think it's uh, you should just look at it as, uh, you know, he's learned. And this project is going in for the long term, a long haul. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.